guys, it's Chris from NCPA Outdoors. Hey, I wanted to put a short video together to talk about my Stanley stainless steel 1.4 quart thermos. Now, this thing has been a blessing for generations. They've been around since 1913, so it is, it's time tested. I've used these for two decades now. On the railroad, when you're sitting on a train for 12, 14, up to 18 hours in the middle of nowhere waiting for a van to come pick you up, uh, a good cup of hot coffee is an absolute necessity. And the same holds true for hunting season. Right now we're in the throes of winter. Uh, flintlock season in Pennsylvania, the last few days, our high temperature has not made it above zero. The wind chill, minus 35. So having something hot in the woods with you is an absolute necessity. Unfortunately, I'm having a bit of a situation that honestly, it has me at my wits end. I've not been able to come up with a solution because I can't even pinpoint the problem. So my hopes today is that somebody out there on YouTube land uh, has the same situation and can either relate or can offer some suggestions or feedback uh, that I haven't already tried. All right, so let me give you a little backstory so I can kind of explain what's going on here. So two years ago, I was using the same thermos that I've used for years without fail. Uh, I got it out to the tree stand, that first cup of hot chocolate, seven eight o'clock was fine but by noon everything was ice cold so i got a hold of stanley no problems no questions no hassles they sent me a brand new one so i got that thermos in the mail took it out that upcoming hunting season and unfortunately that was the beginning of my troubles that thermos was manufactured i believe it was either 2015 or 2016 and my very first cup of hot chocolate in the tree stand that year tasted fine. No problems. I thought I am good to go. Everything's fine now. But my second cup a few hours later, as soon as I poured it, something just did not seem right. And as soon as that hot chocolate touched my lips, it was game over. It was absolutely putrid. Like you, It was unbearable. I could not even drink it. So I dumped it out. I thought, well, maybe it's a bad batch of hot chocolate. I don't know what's going on. So I get it back to camp, wash it out, rinse it out really good. The next morning, I go ahead and make another pot of hot chocolate, take it out to the tree stand, same thing. The first cup was fine. I thought, you know, I don't, well, I don't know what happened, but definitely had issues. And then again, the second cup a few hours later were the exact same results. It was undrinkable. So I called uh, Stanley and they suggested that I may have had some stuff at the bottom that you know wasn't getting cleaned out. I explained to them that they just sent it to me. It was a brand new thermos. So they recommended that I run it through a solution of baking soda and water, which I did. Let it sit overnight, repeated it two or three times, and then I took it back out then for flintlock season and unfortunately had the exact same problem. So this past year I called Stanley again and explained to them what I just explained to you guys and they sent me now this, my third Stanley stainless steel 1.4 quart thermos. Now this one has a manufacturer date. If you look at the bottom of all of their thermoses, has an alpha and a numeric stamp. Now the letter represents the month, the numbers represent the year of manufacture. So this one is stamp C, so January, February, March of 2017. I got this thing in the mail two weeks ago, and the very first thing that I did with it was put hot water into it. I let it sit for you know, three or four hours, and then poured the first cup, and it was piping hot, so we're good there. I tried a few sips of it, but it, you know, it was different. So I thought, well, I mean, who honestly drinks just hot water? It, it, 
that in itself is just you know kind of off-putting. So I let it sit for a few hours and let it go to room temperature thinking, well, we'll see what it tastes like at room temperature, like just plain drinking water. And again, it had a very distinct off-putting taste to it. Naturally, I didn't wash it, so I thought, well, we'll chalk it up as that. So like every time I've ever washed these thermoses, it gets two drops of a palm olive dish soap, warm water, scrub it out good with a bristle brush, throw a washcloth down in there, rinse it out really good, let it dry. I repeated it then. Same thing, hot water, let it sit for a few hours, off-putting taste. Let it go to room temperature. Still, it's got, it's hard to describe. It's not a, it's not a plasticky taste and it's not a metallic taste. I mean, you could almost say it has that, I don't know if, and full disclosure, don't try this at home. But when we were kids, we used to take a nine volt battery to the tip of your tongue and you get that little zappy kind of a taste to it. It has a little bit of that, but I mean, not really. It just has a very distinct, not good taste. So we flash forward now. I have tried every solution I can think of from what Stanley recommends with the baking soda and water solution, let it sit overnight, repeat it three times. Uh, I've tried water and vinegar. I've tried different dish soaps. I just continue to get the same results with the 2016 and now my 2017 thermos. Now I've read online, some people have said, well, I mean, what do you expect when you're using, you know, store-bought imitation instant hot chocolate? Well, other people have said, if you're using real hot chocolate, maybe it's your milk that's spoiling and that's what's giving you that off-putting putrid kind of a taste. Uh, I'm just using Swiss Miss hot chocolate and store-bought either spring water or drinking water. It's not just my taste buds that have said that there's something wrong with the, the water in these. I've had, Joel has tried it, uh, wife at home has tried it. What do you think of it? The most disgusting thing in the world. Yeah, there's something off. I mean, we've had just hot water in this for today. Yeah. And, yeah, see, there's even just the smell of the water. Wow. There's just something not right. And this has only ever had water in it. I mean, there has not been hot chocolate in here yet. Like, just pulled in it. Yeah, like that, there's something just not... It's warm. Yeah. Ugh. It smells good. I, yeah, I mean, you can't drink that. It'll keep your hands warm. So, I don't know. Like I said, I'm hoping somebody out there has a solution that I haven't tried yet. Something that Stanley hasn't recommended us trying. Up until two years ago, I have never had a problem with Stanley thermoses. I've tried different soap. I'll put this on. It has been rinsed out. I mean, you can't rinse these things out any more than I have rinsed them out. So there is not soap solution, still soap residue in there. It is something in that liner is reacting with any liquid that's just, I don't know. I've thought about having the water sent off to have the water tested. I don't know what else to do, but we definitely cannot drink that, can we? No. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully somebody out there has some suggestions, uh, can offer something that Stanley hasn't already suggested that I try because we rely on these in the woods. As a hunter, uh, anybody who has to have a cup of hot coffee, you rely on these thermoses. So if I can't come up with a solution, unfortunately, I guess we're just going to have to find a new thermos, huh? So, all right, well, hopefully uh, some of you guys out there can provide something for us. We'll take it from there. Thanks, guys.